morning clearing a red line train that derailed in Dorchester. So it meant headaches for commuters for much of the day. NBC 10's Malcolm Johnson joins us live from Dorchester now with an update on this tea trouble. Malcolm. Good evening, Audrey. Crews expect to have this train removed just before midnight right here on the red line. They do expect that these delays which took place today will extend into tomorrow as they're expecting commutes to be 20 minutes longer than normal. Inch by inch, crews are moving this derailed train. It's taken me almost an hour with the delays. As derailment delays hold up passengers for the second time in four days. Who here needs help? A green line car derailed Saturday, this red line car at 610 this morning. We travel by the bus, we come down here, they, they say no train, we don't know what's going on exactly. Confusion among passengers as crews investigate the derailment's cause. I think this morning could have been a little more organized. We were literally just like a herd of people and I'm small and I wasn't getting on the shuttle and I had to flag someone down and say, I'm standing here over an hour, can you help me get on a shuttle? shuttles transporting passengers in between stations. This, as Mayor Walsh tweeted, the derailments are unacceptable and that answers, funding and solutions are needed now. We understand very clearly that this situation uh, with these derailments is not acceptable and we are taking steps to address that. And you know those countdown clocks that let you know how long it's going to be before the next train arrives. Well, they've been shut down throughout the entire red line and this work here is expected to go on through the early morning hours. For live tonight reporting in Dorchester, I'm Malcolm Johnson, NBC 10 Boston.